Hi everyone, welcome to Tasty Tuesdays, and this is our very first episode. And so, for tonight's, or today's, menu item, I am making what I like to call an Americanized Mexican dish, which is uh, Mexican lasagna, or taco lasagna, depending on how you look at it. It's really easy to put together, it's super satisfying, so let's get started. Okay, in this pan here, I got a little jump start. I have been frying up a pound of really lean ground beef. And I'm doing that because I just don't want to have a lot of fat to drain. Um, you can use chicken, you can use ground turkey, you can use venison, whatever ground meat you choose, go ahead and use. Um, and then in here, I also put about a half a cup of chopped onions. And I'm just frying them up here together. And it's pretty much ready. I'm going to turn this heat down a little bit. And to this, I'm going to add one packet of taco seasoning. Now, if you have taco seasoning kind of in bulk in one of those bigger containers, then use, I don't know, I'd say about three tablespoons. Oh, some still in here. There we go. And to that, we're going to add about uh, two-thirds cup of water. And we're just going to start stirring this up break up those pieces there. Now this is a mild dish. Um, if you like it spicier by all means go ahead and put some cayenne in there maybe some jalapenos. Most of the time when I'm cooking I don't make a lot of stuff spicy because I'm cooking for a mixed bag. So some people do like it really spicy and then there's other ones who consider you know black pepper hot. <laughs> So it's like, well, you know, those that do like that extra kick will just have to um, add it once the, the dish is uh, finished cooking and it's being served. So we're just going to continue to cook this till it thickens. So just mix it up. I'm going to turn the heat up a little bit. We're going to let that go. We're going to stir it every couple of minutes. It shouldn't take very long. And you can see it's already starting to boil. So that'll cook it down fairly quick. So then over here in this pan, I'm going to turn this on. Wowzers, to a low heat. And in here is a um, 16 ounce can of refried beans. You can use pinto, black beans, whatever. And then a 7 ounce can of the chopped green chilies. That's a little bit bigger than the normal size. But I like the flavor of them and they're not hot. They're very mild. So even kids probably wouldn't notice this mixed in. And I just like to get it heated up so they're, you know... Um, well incorporated to each other here and they're warm and they're easy to spread so yeah you don't need this on a very high heat just mixing it and then I'm going to keep it on a really low heat till we're, till we're ready to move forward with the rest of the recipe okay the meat is all done and so are the uh, refried beans. Everything's looking good. I'm going to let it sit just for a minute to cool down just a little bit and then we're going to assemble everything. Okay, the first thing we're going to add to this pan, I have a can here of diced tomatoes. This happens to have roasted garlic and onion in it. Doesn't matter if it has that or not. You can use whatever you like. I'm only mentioning um, that because we're going to pour a little bit of the juice in the bottom here. Just spread it around a little bit. That's just to make sure that your tortillas on that bottom layer stay nice and moist. And then that's what we're going to do. If you can make your own 
own tortillas. That'd be fabulous. Otherwise, try and get some really nice, big, soft flour tortillas. You can use corn, too, but you probably end up with at least three of them on the bottom. And here, we're only going to use two. This is a 9 by 13 pan. Oh, and make sure you just got your oven started at 350. So we're going to put the two tortillas down. And then we're going to spread a good amount of these refried beans on the bottom here. Love refried beans. Put however much you like. I'm just, you know, winging it here, but I'm putting a good amount. Because I have plenty, you know, there's plenty in there. Just love Mexican food. The one thing I found ironic when I went to, um, well, maybe not ironic, but uh, when I went to Ireland is there's no Mexican restaurants that I could find in Ireland. So if you guys ever want to start up a business in Ireland, maybe you should try that. Okay, now we're going to move on to our meat. We won't be quite as generous with the meat. I mean, you can put a good amount on there. But I feel like we have a little bit more beans than we do meat, and that's fine. You don't want this to be too heavy. You know, if it is too heavy, it's just going to all fall apart when you try to cut it into pieces. So there you go with that. Then we are going to take this fabulous cheese, you guys. I don't know. I mean, this brand name itself really isn't important. It's the type of cheese. This uh, Mexican queso cheese. I love this stuff. It's like a farmer's cheese. It's kind of salty. It crumbles really easy and it melts beautifully. So these, I got two packages here. They're each 12 ounces, but we're not going to use all of that. We're going to use over one, that's for sure. Probably one and a half, we'll see. And you're just going to crumble it up, you know. Put some little pieces here and there. Bigger pieces, doesn't really matter. Just put a decent amount. I mean, the cheese on here really helps to make the dish. Get it all in there. Maybe a little bit more. That doesn't look cheesy enough. We like lots of cheese. I'm in Wisconsin and cheese is, I don't know, <laughs> it's one of the major food groups. Let's just put it that way. I think in Wisconsin the, the three food groups are beer, brats, and cheese. And we really do love all three of those, let me tell you. Okay. Yeah, that's looking a little bit better there. You can get um, any kind of cheese you like. If you want cheddar, if you want Monterey Jack, you want Pepper Jack, whatever it is, go ahead and use whatever shredded cheese you want on there. And now these tomatoes. We're going to sprinkle some tomatoes on there, spread them out a little bit better than I just did. I love tomatoes. This is a nice dish for in the winter, you know, if you're running running low on fresh stuff. But really, I mean, most places you're not going to get fresh tomatoes in the winter anyways. I ran out of my own canned diced tomatoes. I didn't have enough last year for apparently enough diced and um, sauce. So I bought this, and they're pretty decent. Okay. And now you're going to add two more tortillas. And you're going to do the same thing on this layer. Okay, I have my two layers on there, and I'm putting these last two tortillas on there. And then I'm just going to be sprinkling a bunch of black olives on top. If you don't like them, don't put them on there, no worries. Uh, you could put some more tomatoes, you could put some green onions, put whatever you like, you and your family. I just happen to have these, so they're going on. And then I'm going to try and crumble more cheese on top of here. As you can see, it's kind of falling, 
but I'll make it work. Okay, I got my cheese all on there. And by the way, I only, well, I did use that 12 pound, I mean, 12 ounce package and only a real little bit out of the second one. So you could probably get away with just one of them. I was sneaking some of it, eating it along the way. So probably one would suffice. But anyhow, we're going to cover this with tin foil. But I don't want that cheese to stick to it. So I'm going to spray the foil first with a little bit of uh, cooking spray. I'm going to put that on. I'd like this to be fairly tight. So. But it keeps popping up on me. Stinker. One time, one side at a time. Okay, now that it's all on there, we're going to put this in the oven for 30 to 35 minutes. 350. Okay, you guys, it's fresh, hot out of the oven, and the house smells great. If your dinner guests or family weren't hungry when they got there, as soon as they smell this, they will be. Um, go ahead and make it your own. Put down in comments what you would use, how you'd switch out the ingredients. If you do make this, how differently do you make it or do you make it pretty similar? Let's just uh, hear about it down in comments. It'd be great. Anyhow, thanks again for watching the video. I appreciate it. Thumbs up, subscribe. It was nice talking to you and you take care.